Good evening, everyone. This is Rocco coming back at you. Um, we are taking a drive into town tonight. And first thing I've noticed uh, is that, well, the GPS was completely off before and now it's on. Now it's going to be enabled. It wasn't going to be enabled it before. Um, so this is going to be like my, I don't know, fifth day driving around with 10.9. Uh, this, I guess this will be the third video, I've released a fourth, <laughs> I've lost track at this point. Um, I've, I'm out of my routine, and I can't, um, uh, after my camping trip, and so I'm just trying to get, get back in order, just get a few videos out, we're not going to do a bunch, this one, I might do one more after this, we'll see, um, we'll see what happens, if there's going to be a new update this weekend or not, I might, I might just not do any, get some other projects done in the meantime. Um, let's see how it does getting on the highway. It's been doing good. Not slowing enough. See, if it slowed sooner, it would have been good. See, like, that was too close to the edge. No, we're going to disengage. Uh, see, look at that. It thought I was not even close to the line. It thought I was crossing the line, so clearly it thought the lane was on the right side of this. See right here, it's really messed up. And I manually merge here then. Yeah, so that has gotten... Let's go ahead and snapshot that. That is seemingly... Well, it's definitely no better. Um, now... Being at night, it seems to have gotten worse, and I will probably blame that on the snow and the salt. That is definitely, uh, I've noticed that caused some, quite a few issues. It could be 10.9, but it seems most likely it's just the, the roads are dirty and salty. First time, uh, it noticed their emergency lights way up ahead, and it slowed down. <laughs> well, it needs to just know to get it over. It doesn't necessarily have to like you know, slow down to the speed limit, of course, obviously. But it just needs to get over and give appropriate room, um, which is law in many areas. I think it's law in North Carolina. You're supposed to get over uh, if all possible. If there's not a car in the left lane legally you're supposed to get over in the left lane um, or at least give as much room as possible to the officer or any um, service vehicles that might be on the side of the road but yeah that's good that I did notice that in previous updates but this is like that was really far away obviously I could see the blinking blue lights and so it knew at a distance away that there was a police officer there very smooth to get to the light it's kind of it is kind of pulsing the brake a little bit if I'm being extra picky um, otherwise it's still very smooth started right back up and the light changed tried to make that turn a little bit too narrow and corrected itself okay so Oh, went around something on the curb right there. So what it needs to do is slow down already for this red light. Like, this is what I would do. It would be slowing down already. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, get over. It just so happens that worked out for me to speed past this car here. So 
it should already again be breaking for this light. It seems like during the day it was breaking sooner, but at night it just, it's still not. It's breaking smooth enough, and I think it's, it, no, it's definitely using friction brakes. It's still using friction brakes um, for these type of brakes. And it shouldn't, of course. It needs to use full regen all the way through. You can tell it starts at the very end, the last like five, 10 mile an hour, it grabs the friction brakes and that makes it a much less smooth braking maneuver. So right here, I should turn the blinker on sooner. Now turn right onto Spartanburg Highway. That was not a good move. Um, smooth turn. Uh, especially at a green arrow, but it just it really uh, it shouldn't have changed two lanes like that It should have stayed in the left lane there and then got over Okay, let's see how it breaks here right on to South Grove Street Fortunately, this person got in front of me to not take the turn. Now I have to wait. Good turn here. This road is always a good test because the lane lines are so poor. Uh, does the, you can see it. Um, let's just go ahead and put it full screen so you see it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that car was, actually was on my side of the road. So that was appropriate that it swerved a little bit. Person has her brights on. Yeah, it, it definitely struggles on this road uh, with the lane lines. And this part of the road isn't even that bad. It's, um,. Right up here is where it gets. Yeah, right here. You can see it's struggling a lot. It's not even hardly showing the lane lines. It needs to be slowing down, getting in the turn lane here. Well, street. Almost messed up there. What's it doing? Stop the traffic control, use the accelerator. Oh, come on. It was about to do it and do it well. I t all I did was tap the accelerator to tell it it's okay. Now turn right on to South King Street. It, actually, it seemed like it actually kind of avoided that piece of snow in the road. Um, needs to wait for this car. I'm, I'm going to let it do its thing this time. Hey. Look there, I made that turn all on its own this time. I didn't have to do anything. And it's changing the lanes, perfect. That's an improvement for sure. Now this weird jerking behavior. That's weird, um, we have had that in previous updates, but no, this is really good on this up, uh, update. That was actually a noticeable improvement compared to previous updates at that turn. In 500 feet, turn left onto 3rd Avenue. I suspect it's not gonna turn the blinker on, it's just gonna swing over, which, I mean, tell me in the comments, do you think this right here is fine? Just to kind of swing over, no blinker, no anything, just kind of swing over into a new lane? No I, turn I don't really know East. if that's fine or not. That's an interesting car. <laughs> and we made it here at zero disengagements, everyone. Um, I think these type of drives... If they keep on getting zero disengagements, I, I probably won't do them every update. I will skip a few updates because it's just... I mean, you tell me down below. If you want me to, North I'll definitely North North make the videos. Um, but um, So you can see, but it seems like after a while, it seems like it just doesn't make any sense to um, uh, make the video if it's just going to get zero disengagements every time. You do see like that turn, it had a small improvement. So that's um, 
it might be worth doing stuff like that, but this this overall is the, about the same. Uh, well, it, it's uh, in a good way. It's it's slightly improved. It's not worse. Um, so that's that's what matters. Um, we'll see if we'll make any more videos after this one. Um, but if not, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.